بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم boys and girls welcome to the first day of storytelling with me زهراء العلوي I hope you're all doing well and I know this Ramadan has been very very different for all of us we are all at home there are no schools so I thought this holy month of Ramadan we can all come together and read the beautiful stories of the Holy Quran you see boys and girls The Quran has the best of stories and in the next 15 days I will be telling you all the stories um, every day from the Holy Quran. I hope you can all join me so we can build our love for the Holy Quran and by the end of the 15 days you all will be experts in knowing and telling the stories in the Quran. Let me tell you the plan okay? Every day I will tell you a story from the Quran. Then I will ask you a few questions at the end. You will need to answer those questions to your parents or the adults in the room. Okay? So you will have to be listening very carefully so you do not miss out on any information. So let's do this together. Join me every day where we build our love um, for the Quran and understanding of all the wonderful stories that Allah has told us. Today I am going to start with a story which Allah has described as the best of stories. Who knows what story that is? Who can tell me? Okay, shout it out. It's okay. I'm listening. That's right. It's the story of Prophet Yusuf. Now, Surah Yusuf, the story of Yusuf is very, very long. But today, I'm only going to tell you the beginning of the story. And I think I will leave the rest for another day. How um, Now, many parents have been telling me that some children have been fighting with each other while at home. Brothers and sisters should not fight with each other. We should love each other. But the brothers of Yusuf did not love him. So let's get into today's story, okay? Take a pen and paper and write down Surat Yusuf, Ayah 4 to 21, okay? Write down Surat Yusuf, Ayah 4 to 21, because that is what we will be talking about today. So when the video finishes, you can open the Quran and read those ayat with your parents, okay? So let's begin today's story. Are you ready? I can't hear you. Shout it out. Are you ready? Okay, let's begin. A very, very, very long time ago, there lived an old wise man. His name was Yaqub and he was the prophet of Allah. Prophet Yaqub had so many sons. Guess how many sons he had? He had 12 sons. He loved them all, but the other sons were very jealous. They also thought that Prophet Yaqub loved Yusuf and their other younger brother more than them. They did not like that at all. One day, Prophet Yusuf came to his father. Oh, father, oh, father, guess what? I dreamt at night. What did you dream, my son? Oh, my father, in my dream I saw 11 stars and the sun and the moon. And guess what? The stars, the sun and the moon were bowing down to me. Oh, said Prophet Yaqub. He knew the other brothers were jealous of Prophet Yusuf. He said, my dear son Yusuf, do not tell your dream to your brothers. Why, said Yusuf because they may become very jealous and do something bad to you. The elder brothers were jealous of Yusuf. They wanted their father to love them more. They came up with a very, very horrible plan to get rid of Yusuf. They said, we got an idea, let's kill Yusuf. But one of them said, we do not need to kill him, we just need to get rid of him. Another brother said, I have an idea. Let's throw him in the well. He will be picked up by the travellers who go by and they will take him very far away and we will not have to see him again. Let's do that. They all agreed on this horrible and evil plan. One day, Prophet Yaqub was sitting down. 
his sons came to him. They said, Dad, can we take Yusuf with us? He is quite big now. He can play and we will look after the sheep. Prophet Yaqub was not quite sure. It saddens me that you should take him and I am afraid that a wolf would eat him while you are playing. Prophet Yaqub did not like this idea at all. He knew the brothers were very, very jealous of Yusuf and he was afraid that Yusuf may get harmed. But the brothers said, No, father, don't worry. Don't worry, father. Yusuf is our brother. We are not going to harm him. He will be with us all the time. Don't worry. No wolf will come. Look how many we are. Prophet Yaqub agreed. Okay, I will let Yusuf go with you. Just look after him, okay? The brothers were happy. Finally, we, we can do our plan to get rid of Yusuf at last. So they took Yusuf with them. Yusuf had no idea what was happening. He thought he was going to go and play. When they were a little away from the village, they got a hold of Prophet Yusuf. Then they threw him in a dry well. Prophet Yusuf landed at the bottom of the well. He looked up. He could see the sky above his head and he thought, the well is very, very deep. I cannot climb that high. What should I do? Meanwhile, the brothers were thinking about what to tell their father. Now we have to come up with a story to tell our father. They got Yusuf's shirt and they put fake blood on it. We got an idea. We are going to tell our father that a wolf ate him. That will be the end of it. The brothers went back to their father, pretending to cry. They said, Oh, our father, we left Yusuf just for a few minutes. And before we came back, a wolf ate him. We are so sorry. Please believe us. But Prophet Yaqub was very wise. And deep down, he knew that they were lying. He knew that Yusuf was out there alone and he never gave up hope. Meanwhile, back at the well, by chance, a caravan was passing by. It was a very, very hot day. Both men and camels were very thirsty. One man spotted the well. He said to others, Come here, guys. Let's get some water from the well. Some of the men came to the well. One of them took a bucket um, on, the, on a rope and dropped it into the well. He put the bucket into the well and when Yusuf saw the bucket, he held on to the bucket. Then the man pulled the bucket up and what did they see? They saw Yusuf. They started to shout, Oh my God, a boy, a boy, come see this. Everybody crowded around the well. They were very surprised. They pulled the, up the bucket and they saw the most beautiful boy, Yusuf. They were going to, take, going to go to Egypt and decided to take the Prophet Yusuf with them. They said, we will sell him in the market. Some rich man will surely buy him. In Egypt, they sold him for not much money at all. Prophet Yusuf grew up in Egypt. It was many, many years before he saw his brothers again. And many, many more years until he saw his father. But don't worry, he saw his father and brothers again. But that is another story for another day and I will be telling you that story soon. Prophet Yusuf went through so much adventure and the story is very long but I will be telling you all about that later. So my dear boys and girls, it's very important that we become very good with our brothers and sisters. We should not be jealous at all. We should not fight with each other and blame each other. Your parents love you and you are very lucky to even have brothers and sisters. We have to be good with each other. And when our parents tell us not to argue and not to fight with each other, it's because they love you all and they want all their children to be happy. Today, I want you to do something nice for your brother or sister. 
Think about one nice thing you can do for them. You can tell them something nice to make them happy. You can make them a beautiful card or write them a letter. You can help them with something. Whatever you decide to do, do something nice for each other. And finally, this is for the mums and dads in the room. Write down these questions and you can ask your children these questions when the video finishes. Let's see if, if the children were listening to the story. Okay. So, question number one. How many sons did Prophet have? Okay, write that down. Question two. Can you tell me what dream the Prophet Yusuf saw? Okay. Question three. How many, uh, how did the brothers get rid of Prophet Yusuf? Question number four. How was Prophet Yusuf saved from the well? Okay, and the last question, what lessons did you learn from this story? Okay, parents, write all those questions down and you can ask the children once the video finishes. I hope you enjoyed today's story, my beautiful children, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow and telling you another story from the Holy Quran. Have a beautiful and wonderful day. Stay happy, stay safe, and I really do look forward to seeing you tomorrow where I will be telling you another story from the best of stories from the Holy Quran. That's um, it from me, Zahra Al Alawi, and I will see you tomorrow. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.